going on? I'm gonna redeem myself from that last intro. This is the final exam review, Unit 8. So uh, keep watching, stay focused, and uh, get that A on that test. Uh, hey y'all, that was thugging out Brandon, man. I mean, Braylon right there. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen, man. Hey, as he said, hey, this is Unit 8 Part 2. Hey, watch the videos. All right, watch the videos. All right, guys. Hey, this first one, man, we're going to condense these logarithms right here. Hey, the first thing I want to point out is this one is a minus. All right, with a minus, we're going to divide, all right, these two logs right here. And then this one says plus. All right, with the plus, the addition, we're going to multiply whatever we get, whatever we divide right here, we're going to multiply it to this one right here, okay? But before we do all that, guys, the first thing I want to point out is these exponents right here. These constants out front, that one third and that two, these were originally exponents, so we're going to put those back. All right, we're going to put those back like this. So our actual equation, guys, is this. Log base three of two A, I'm going to put that in parentheses, squared. See that two? Put it back. Then we have log base three of B to the one third. See again, I put that one third back. All right. And then, hold on, let me move this out of the way. We have plus log base three of B times C. Now, uh, now that our exponents are back, I'm going to take uh, this log right here and this log, I'm going to divide them because of that minus sign. All right, so what that means is this. Well, before I do that, you know what I want to do? I'm going to simplify this, guys. All right, see how this is 2a squared? I'm going to write that as, let's do it like this. 2 squared is 4. And a squared is a squared, so I have 4a squared. All right, there we go. Now, when I divide this thing out, guys, here's what you get. The 4a squared goes here. We have log base 3 of 4a squared divided by b to the 1 third, okay? Now, we still have plus log base 3 of b times c, all right? Now, let me edit something real quick because I want you guys to be able to see that clearly. That should be, if I thin it out, one third. B to the one third, all right, B to the one third. Now, now that I have this simplified, I can multiply this one and this because um, it's the addition sign right here. So what we get is, Remember, this is BC over 1, so BC gets multiplied to the top. So you have log base 3 of 4A squared BC divided by B to the 1 third. All right. And now to take it one step further, see how there's a B here and a B here? Well, remember, this is B to the first. Whenever you want to, uh, you have the same base, you can actually cancel. All right. Well, in this case, we're gonna subtract that. So what you get right here is one minus one third is going to be, so you get one minus one third is two thirds. So you actually have log base three of four a squared b to the two thirds, oops, two thirds c. All right, that's your final answer for number 10, all right? Now for number 11, you actually got to do a uh, natural log here. But this natural log, you can evaluate in your calculator. You just press uh, LN, natural log of 2.5 in your calculator, like so. Sorry about that. So if you go natural log of 2.5, 
you will get an answer of two points. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not even on the right page. There we go. Natural log of 2.5. You'll get 0.9163. So there you go. And this right here. All right, see how this is log base 5 or 67? You can do this in your calculator. If you go log of 67 divided by log of 5, all right, and divide that in your calculator, guys, you're going to get 2.6125. All right, so for this next one, man, e to the fifth, man, uh, again, plug it in your calculator. When you do, all right, let me show y'all where e is. It's right here where natural log is. All right, that's natural log. If you press second and E, all right, natural log, second, that, there it is right there. So we went to the fifth, and that gives us 148.4132. Uh, all right, so let's write that in. Equals 148.4132. All right. Now, uh, this one here, write the inverse. Um, again, the first step to find the inverse is swap x and y. So you have x equals natural log of y plus 4. Now, we're going to subtract 4 on both sides. So I have x minus 4 equals natural log of y. Now, guys, we want to negate this natural log right here. And how we're going to do that is we're going to apply e to both sides. Now what happens right here is the natural log and E negates each other, so I'm left with Y. And over here on the right, anytime you apply E to uh, any sort of base, it becomes an exponent. So you end up with E. Remember, we apply E to this whole right side. So it's E to the X minus four. All right, it's now exponent. This, guys, is your inverse right here. All right. Now here it says we write this um expression right with well, this equation right here in logarithmic form all right so it has e so of course this is going to be the natural log all right so what we get is um if i apply the natural log on both sides i end up with those negating each other as they did right here so it's just x and over here on the right i have ln of 2.117 all right so there we go in log form for this next one, uh, we write this ln of 7.39, which is approximately 2 in exponential form. Well, again, if I apply the e to both sides, e here and e here, remember once you apply the e, it becomes the exponent. All right? And over here, that negates. That negates. And I have 7.39 equals e squared. Okay? Now, let's move on down here. This equation right here, we'll use um, this interest formula, A equals P times ERT, all right, because this is exponential. So we have our principal, 5,000, um, times E raised to the R, the rate, 0.06 times the time, which is 10 years, all right? And when you do that, you get $9,110.59, okay? All right, well, this is gonna be the shortest video yet. Solve this equation. Um, Again, guys, we have this plus right here. Um, Now for number 16. Number 16, we've gotta solve this log Understand all the bases are the same, first of all. So now we've got to solve this. Um, remember the plus right here, guys, when we have the same log, right? We're going to multiply those uh, answers right there, those arguments. So you end up with log of 2x times 8 is 16x equals log of 68. Now, because they're on different sides, of the equal sign, guys, um, I can go ahead and set those two equal to each other. So I can go 16x 
equals 68. All right, I don't have to focus on the logs anymore. I'm just trying to find x. And now what we're going to do is divide by 16 on both sides. That cancels. So we get x equals 68 divided by 16, guys, is going to be 4.25. All right, there's x. Now let's look at part B, our last question. Here, guys, we need to solve this equation here. Um, because there's an exponent here, and notice I can't convert 45 to have the same exponent. Um, we're going to write this in log form. So we're going to go log base 7 of 45 equals x plus 2, okay? And the reason we do that is because, yo, we can solve this side of the equation. All right, I'm going to show you what I mean. If we do this part right here, remember, we can solve this as log of 45 divided by log of 7, okay? So when we do that portion right there, that is going to give us um, 1.926. So now my equation looks like this. 1.926 equal to x plus 2, because remember, this is 1.926. Well, I'm going to subtract 2 on both sides, and I get a final answer of uh, point zero four three. 8 equals x. Here's our final answer, guys, right there. All right. Hey, again, man, this concludes Unit 8. All right, I hope you tune in for the next video, which is going to go over Unit 9, all right?